we'll get right to it. Our first guests tonight Just are kidding. the members of the Varsity Boys basketball team, head coach JJ <laughs> Oliver screen, and senior team. captains Ben Tomasello <laughs> and Eric Danny. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Coach, we'll start with you. So third year as the varsity coach, uh, team currently sitting at three and five on the season. Just give us a brief recap on how the season has been so far. Well, there's been uh, some ups and downs so far through the season. Started a uh, little slow, got our first win out at Ashland and have picked, a few, picked up a few more since then, sitting at three and five, as you said. So two games below 500. Uh, one of our goals is to, is to make the tournament one way or another. So that 500 mark is important to us. So we're turning it around. We've had some uh, two of our best games in the last couple of games, winning one, losing another close one. Um, so we're on a bit of an upswing right now. So lots of talk between all the teams about this being the first year in the Tri-Valley. And everybody wants to know how things in the Tri-Valley are going. What are some of the differences? So from a basketball perspective, are there things you notice, different styles of play, anything like that between the Tri-Valley and the Bay State? Yeah, you know, first of all, you know, the Tri-Valley's no joke, which is something that um, you know, I knew we've always had a couple non-league games with Tri-Valley schools coming into the season um, in previous years, both uh, when I've been head coach and, and in previous years before that. And so we knew that the brand of basketball there was very good. Uh, stylistically, we'll see a little bit more zone, a little more gadgetry on the defensive end from some of our opponents, but uh, it's very, very good basketball. So what expectations did you have coming into the season? Because it's a young team. These two guys right here are your only seniors. But it's not a team that necessarily lacked varsity experience while young. So what, what, what were your expectations of this group? True. I mean, we do have, we have six returners. Mm -hmm. we, are, we are still young, yep. um, physically, I would say. But experience-wise, we're not as young. Um, six returners. We return um, our leading scorer, our second leading scorer. Um, our leader in almost every defensive statistical category, our leading assist man, mm -hmm. um, and that's a lot of the guys who are important uh, on our team so far this year. And so we do have some experience, um, but I mean, age-wise, we're still young. We're going up against uh, you know teams that have more guys that might be driving and shaving than we do, and and so that yep. does impact us on the court from time to time. But we're really not using it as an excuse. I don't think the guys consider themselves young. Um, they consider themselves a group of guys that basketball is important to and, and, and there's a lot of experience in the locker room. So as a little segue here before we turn to these guys, talk to me a little bit about your two senior captains here and, and what they've meant to both the program as a whole and this team in, uh, in particular. Sure. Well, Ben and Eric have both you know, been with us for four years. This is their fourth year in the program, uh, second year on, on varsity for both of them. Um, you know, they each bring something kind of different to the floor, to the locker room, um, but they've both been phenomenal leaders. You know, Ben's a great lead-by-example sort of guy. He's our most well-rounded player in terms of what he can do on the court offensively, defensively, rebounding, and so on. Um, Eric is uh, almost like a th another coach on the court at times. Um, he's always going to be in the right place. He communicates very well, um, can diagnose what the other team is doing and communicate it to his teammates and help his teammates out spacing wise and so on and so forth. And so um, they've both done a phenomenal job in, in their captaincy and with their roles on the team, um, you know, on the court. So Ben, I'll turn to you since you're next to coach. So you get the, the lucky draw first. What do you feel like your role as captain is and, and how have you kind of embraced that this season? Um, like coach said, I try to just lead by example, you know, since we're a young team, I try to show them like how like varsity basketball works and like make sure, you know, that we're like always staying positive and stuff. And uh, yeah, just I just try to lead by example. So Eric, do you guys feel like you kind of have a certain responsibility, not only as captains, but as the only two seniors in the, in the program? Uh, yeah, I feel like me and Ben, we have to set the tone and set the like what kind of brand of basketball we want to play since we're the oldest ones. We've been in the program the longest, so we know like what the program is and what the program stands for and what the program wants. So I feel like we need to show the younger players what this Norwood basketball is all about. Can I say something about that? Absolutely. You know, not only uh, in the games are they doing that, but as far as the brand of basketball that we're trying to do, you know, programmatically the way we uh, approach practices, these guys have been phenomenal. They want to win every single drill. Uh -huh. uh, they want to win every single sprint. Uh, if there's a loose ball, they're diving on the floor for it, um, even in practice, even when other guys might think, oh, this part of the drill is over. No, they continue it because they're uh, working hard through the whole thing, and that goes a long way um, for what the coaches are trying to, to get out of practices. So they've been yeah. awesome in practices as well. well that's awesome. Um, so for you guys, Coach talked a little bit about his expectations coming into the season. 
did you guys have your own set of expectations on what you wanted from this group? Um, yeah, at this point, I thought uh, our record would be a, a little bit better than it is, but uh, it happens. And uh, but like we've the games we've been losing have been close games, and uh, I think we're due for a win streak. So Eric, I know like goal setting is is something that as a program we look at at the beginning of the season. We ask to set individual. We want team goals. What were some of those individual or team goals, if you don't mind sharing some of those? Maybe the team side of it. Yeah. So. As a team, we all said that we all want to make tournament one way or another, so that's one of the big ones. And then we also said that we want to do better the second time around. We play the big school side of Tri-Valley, so we're uh, playing Hoffington Friday. That's the last time we play a team from the big side first for the first time, so after that we can start working on that goal. So what do you guys think are one of the strengths of, of this group of guys? I'll direct that to either of you two. Um, I think this group has really good chemistry like most of them like I play basketball with them all year round Just like at the Civic or at a park somewhere like wherever we got really good chemistry And as you go into the second half of the season are there any Weaknesses that you guys are targeting that you really feel like you need to improve on to to get to where you want to be um, Not to put you on the spot <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go uh, one thing we got to work on, I think, is we get in our own heads sometimes when like we like give up a run or like the other team starts hitting their shots and we're not making our, our shots. So like one of our goals is to, you know, just roll with the highs and hopefully get over the lows as uh, quick as possible. So that's one thing we want to work on. Coach, would you agree with both those strengths and the weaknesses? Yeah, I'd, I'd agree with all of that. And I guess the other thing I'd add in terms of something that we are working on. Um, really the extra possession battle that takes place uh, throughout the 32 minutes of the game. We want to um, end the game with more offensive rebounds than our opponents. We want to end the game with fewer turnovers than our opponents. And then by getting those extra possessions, you know, that's going to be the difference in some of these close games we've been having. So we have a stretch coming up with, you see some of the teams you've played previously, what will hopefully be some, some winnable games. What's the message to these guys and the whole team as, as you head into that stretch? Yeah, I mean, you know, Try not to focus on the, on the stretches too much, to be honest. Yep. Um, really approaching every single game with the mindset that, you know, we have to compete. There's There have been a few games where we felt like we didn't play our best. Um, and if we had played our best, we would have won. Yep. Um, and it really is a game by game, night by night situation with that because um, there's a great deal of parity in the Tri-Valley League. Um, and so if we show up and don't have a good game, we could lose to anybody. If we show up and have a good game, we can beat anybody. Yep, absolutely. Well, obviously, good luck the rest of the season. 